Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Levine has officially signed. Five years, $215 million max extension is, is official, y'all. Clutch Sports reported it earlier today. Man, oh man, Zach Levine. Uh, it, it, it was so much turmoil because, you know, he definitely put the, the Chicago Bulls fans through a roller coaster. I know last night they, they was going through hula hoops, I'm telling you. You know, um, I was just really teasing Bulls fans, you know, uh, last night when I when we uh, put, put that video out. You know, but if you listen to that video, it was it was basically telling you, the Bulls fans, listen, Zach, he's got a lot of money on the table. It's going to be hard for him to just walk away from all of that. You know, it just ain't gonna happen. It just, it ain't gonna happen just like that. So I thought maybe before, you, people ain't gonna turn down the super max. You're gonna, you're gonna take this max and then you're gonna, then, then you start acting up. But I, what I see about the situation with Zach Levine is more of a style of play than it was about him necessarily really wanting to leave. To be honest with you, the Chicago Bulls did everything they could to appease you. You know, it would have been filthy for you to just walk out the back door like that. And give respect to Clutch, Clutch Sports. You know, Rich Paul, man, he getting guys paid, man. You see what he did for Zoe? You see what he did for AD, Draymond? I mean, goddamn, the list goes on. You know, uh, they out here really taking care of their clients. You know, uh, let's see if the Chicago Bulls could, could get a championship out of this situation, you know. Uh, what does Zach got to change to, uh, his style of play as well? You know, uh, isolation got to be got to be to a minimum. You know, we got to play a little bit more conventional. You know, uh, is, is this all I'm going to say? Um, it's not only DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine as well. In order to benefit the basketball team, we need some structure on this team. What are the pieces that will be needed? You, you see the situation when Andre Drummond is coming to Chicago. Uh, Lonzo Ball should, you know, uh, be able to, you know, that pick and roll should be deadly with everybody. You know, Drummond, he's been doing his thing, you know, ever since he left the Detroit Pistons. He's been going to these various teams and doing all right. You know, you see what he did with Brooklyn. You know, he did he did his thing. In Los Angeles, he did the best he could. You know, uh, so it, it's crazy. The um, Chicago Bulls, I know they, they made out great with this move, man. I know they're ecstatic, they're happy. And it's good to just put this to bed. You know, you don't want this lingering, you know, uh, days and days and days. When you hear Zach Levine is going to take his time, I, got, I know it sent Bulls fans through a shock. You know, like, what is going on? Like that, we done gave this guy everything. You know, it's like it gets troubling. You know, but nonetheless, man, they 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 got their guy. You know, Chicago. Let's see what's the next move. Billy Donovan to me is on the hot seat. Uh, I'm gonna continue continue to say that. You know, because Billy Donovan, I'm telling you, look out. I I, I think this could be potentially his final season with the Chicago Bulls. And I, I might be the one of the only person people saying that. But this could be Billy Donovan's final season coaching Chicago. And there's numerous reasons why. Zach Levine took a while, a day or so to resign. You know, it almost was like he was trying to communicate something. You know, Lonzo Ball was the starting point guard. You paid him $85 million. You know, um, the ball is not in his hands the way it should be. That the, uh, This isolation style is just a dead-end offense, you know. It's just going to lead to a dead end. You know, uh, when you when you play in this style of offense, all roads lead to a dead end. You know, um, but this is big for Zach Levine, man, and uh, the city of Chicago. They got that guy for the next five years. This team is definitely looking, everybody looking to be intact for the next couple of years. You know, uh, it's good. Chicago did they think. Give credit to Chicago, too, because they knew this day was coming. And last season, they put the pieces around him. You know, uh, right before the contract, yeah. It's funny what they do when it's time to pay you. They go out and get some help. But they didn't want the help to usurp Zach Levine. We got to remember, Zach Levine is supposed to be the number one option for this basketball team. And I think Zach Levine is going to take that mantle with this money. Uh, I expect a major, a major season from Zach Levine. Similar to what you've seen from, from DeMar DeRozan this season, I think we're going to be talking about Zach Levine in the MVP discussion next year. I think he's going to jump out ahead, you know, and prove his dominance because that's a big-time contract. You know, you can't be running around with $215 million and, you know, you you playing a dead-end style of play. So I expect him to figure some things out. I'm, I'm pretty sure internally the Bulls are discussing, man, we got to change this. We cannot roll in the next season on the same type of time we were this season because you've seen what happened. Now, 
back to the man of the, of the hour, Billy Donovan. You know, he's the key to all of this. If he will wake his ass up, you know, it'd be good. But uh, I'm telling you, Billy Donovan really looked like he got exposed to me because, number one, you got yourself a talented team. Okay, everybody goes down. You, you Listen, you, you, you got a whole fort. You were the number one seed when everybody was all there. When everybody go down, you telling me you can't open the first round with home court advantage? That's all you have to do as a coach. Hold the fort. The Bulls needed home court advantage to secure themselves, you know, getting out that first round. They needed to get one of them four spots, and they failed. And I'm a whole lot to Billy Donovan's doorstep. You know, uh, we're not saying shoot all the way up the standards, but I'm here to tell you if it was two or three more games, the Bulls would have been in the playing. And that's unacceptable. You know, um, you got coaches out here coaching with way less talent. You know, you had Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan losing game in and game out. Uh, Vucevic as well. I mean, the defense needs to get solidified. So AK got some things they got to do. They got the pieces. They got the team. Let's get this defense solidified. Let's get a big man. You know, let's get somebody to protect Vooch, to hide his weaknesses. You know, that's another thing. You got all this isolation play and then you got Vucevic. You know, uh, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know if you're going to get 20-something uh, or you're going to get nothing, you know? A guy that's scared of everything, a dude that's slow. You don't know what's, what you're getting. So the Bulls got a lot of rectifying to do, but I think they're going to get it done. I know they can get it done. I'm confident in this basketball team. I'm confident in the Chicago Bulls. You know, uh, I got the utmost confidence in this team, man. Uh, we were riding and dying with them all season. I don't care how you want to slice it. Lonzo Ball is on this basketball team. As long as Lonzo Ball is on this team, the Chicago Bulls will have all of our hearts. You understand? So we will be watching you guys. We want we want the Bulls to win. I know I do. You know, I want, I want Lonzo Ball in the NBA Finals. I want Lonzo Ball to win a championship, you know. But I do believe that Lonzo Ball was surely discounted. And in turn, when you discount Lonzo, you discount the whole entire team because all Lonzo want to do is make everybody better. So when you want to take the ball out of his hands, you know, you're slowing up Zach. You're slowing up DeMar. You're slowing up Vooch. Could you imagine what Lonzo could have did for Vooch if y'all would have gave him that opportunity? You know, um, and like I said, it's vice versa. But we're going to keep it on Zach Levine. But in all in all, it wasn't so much he wanted out of Chicago, but I believe Zach is pushing for a different style of play next season, where he is the more the focal point. Lonzo is more running the show, and the sky going to be the limit. And then in the fourth quarter, when all hell break loose, all bets are off, then it's time to isolate. But don't isolate for all, all four quarters because it won't end well. We've seen what happened with Milwaukee. I'm going to leave it at that. We got late breaking news in the NBA. Zach Levine has signed for the bag, the big bag, five years, 215. Ooh, Lord. Damn, my man is paid. Shout out to the Chicago Bulls. See Red Nation. Stand up. Everybody pull up tonight. It's Flight Sports.